All right, hello. My name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science. But enough about me. Let's get into this. All right, so today we're gonna be covering two topics. We're gonna be covering display and sound. For these, just a little heads up, there's not gonna be a live demo for this one. So if you're wondering where the link is, there isn't one. All right, so first, let's start off. So display, this one for this functions, you have many options. You have expressions, the eyes, the information, the Lego, just like the little, like the IR sensor, the gyro sensor, like all of this, all this, it returns you the values of them. The objects like fire, you know, like, you know, just like cool little stuff like the progress, the timer, you know, just like the water level one, water level two, like it's, it has many, many, many options. You know, obviously like sadly I can't show you guys because these are not, these screens are not very good for me to really show you guys in it. So let's get started. All right. So for this one, it's like, okay. So for example, you, I'm like, okay, you know, I wanted to, to smile. Cause you know, I like happy robots, you know, happy robots, happy life. So I'm like, okay, I want to display for two seconds. So what this is going to do, it's going to, it's going to display the image for two seconds. However, after that, it's not going to display it anymore. It's just going to stop, you know? So, and then we have the other option. The, this one actually has a condition to make it stop, which is the time. However, display, it doesn't. If I wanted a, a hard large, you know, a mouse shut, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. There's, there's nothing telling it to be like, okay, you know, now I want you to stop, you know? And then as well, you have the option to write your own, your own message. You're like, okay, you know, I wanted to say done, you know, and then moving on to the next one as well. You could write your own little message and uh, however, you, now you have the option of different fonts and now you could choose the corners that you wanted to, you know, so you can mess around with these corners. You're like, okay, I want it to be on the top right corner. What corner would it be? You know, just like little, little stuff like that is going to be like very, very helpful for you. And then if we go to the next one, it's clear display. So this is gonna do is just gonna clear the display exactly as it sounds, nothing more complex, you know? Promise I'm not tr trying to trick you guys. <laughs> so, and then we have sets lights to green, orange, green poles, red poles, orange poles, and off, you know? So you have the option to like, you know, this like just turn on the light. But honestly, I would say all of these, I would say use them for debugging. Debugging is really crucial at times because you know you might have like like really strange behaviors in your code at times. You might be like, why why is it doing that? You know? And for example, you could be like, okay, you know, if you wanna if you wanna have fun, you'd be like, okay, I want it to be sad, you know? You could be like, okay, you know, like for example, you have conditional, you're like, okay, if it does this, then do this. If it does this, then do that. But however, you know, like the statement is always false, and you're like, why? You know, so you could like step back and then like be like, okay, implement this code. It's like if it does this then you want it to display the sad. If it does this, you want it to be happy because, you know, it did it. So this kind of like debugging purposes, you know, I would really, really encourage that. Really encourage it because it is so powerful, you know? Like sometimes you might, you're, you're, for all you know, like your program's not even working, you know? You might even be reusing the wrong file, you know? So it is crucial. It is crucial that you use these tools for debugging because it's, it's really powerful. As well, just like the message one, you could be like, okay, never turned never did to the right, went to the right when I should have gone to the left, you know, just like stuff like that. So it's really powerful. It is really, I would really encourage that you guys use singles for sound, you know, singles for sound, but we'll get into that right now. All right. So here you could play different sounds, you know, like animals, colors, white, you know, I don't, I don't never heard what red sounds like. So that's gonna be interesting. You know, the communications, like the high Lego, you know, just stuff like that. Expressions, information, mechanics, you know, the numbers, the systems, like you have many, many options. So what this is going to do, it's going to play until the, depending on the length of the sound. If it's one second, it's going to last one second. If it's 10 seconds, it's going to last 10 seconds. So it all depends on how long the sound is. So it's going to go on. And then once it's done, it's done. You know, there's not more, much more to it. And then start sound. What that is going to do is going to start it. How it's going to just keep looping and looping and looping and looping. So, you know, kind of the same, but it's different. However, now 
for play beep it's kind of just like beep you know you know the piano you click on it like beep boop beep boop beep boop you know so for example you could do the same for the here you know you'd be like you see it's cool and then you could as well you know you have like more options in the piano so you know that's oh, and then as well you get to choose the uh, how long you want it to last you know if you want it to go forever and ever and ever you know you could put a really large number in there <laughs> as well and then however this one play beep this is gonna this one's gonna go on forever because there's nothing telling it to stop you know so if you want it to go on forever i don't know why you would want it to go on forever but if you want it to go on forever and ever and ever and ever you could use start bleep you know and then stop all sounds. What this is gonna do if if it's for whatever reason you have sounds playing, it's just gonna stop them all, you know. And then set volume to 100%. It's like if you're like, oh, this is this is hurting my ears. You know, this is way too loud. You could actually lower the sound volume, which could come very useful. So this is about it for display and sound. There's not really much anything else to it. But as I mentioned, use this for debugging, especially the sound. You know, like you like beep twice if it made it to here beep once if it didn't you know just like all of this is really really important for debugging i would say you know like it is yes it's really cool you can make it bark you can make it make it look angry you could do so much cool stuff but use it for debugging use it for debugging because that is really powerful and it's going to teach you a lot of skills you know that will later transfer on to actual coding you know for languages like java python c plus plus and many more you know so it's really useful, you know, to, to learn how to debug because it teaches you how to problem solve, how to think, how to get creative, you know, you're like, and like that, you know, you just don't stare and you're like, I wonder where my error is, you know, you actually know. But besides that, that's pretty much all, everything I have for you guys for this video. So remember, remember, use this for debugging purposes. And I hope that this video really helped you guys. And remember, there's not going to be a live demo for this one. So if you're wondering, it's not there. All right. Thank you for watching.